and they're in place in the final clock when you stop the movement. See school committee. He left. Chief and the uh, Chief of Police, escort the mayor up to the stage, please. a little uh, benediction, uh, but before I recite it, I'd like to share with you a little story with your permission. 
Four years ago, I stood on this podium and I was invited to give the benediction then as well. And thankfully, history repeats itself. So here we are again. But I have to tell you that my state at that time was absolute shock. Why? Because in all the years that I was here, I was never invited to participate. So now it's four years later, and I'm no longer in shock. The past four years, my wife and I have gotten to know the mayor. She's come to our community many, many times. And I just want to say, Mayor Judy, you are one special lady. You are welcoming to all the diverse citizens of, this, of our city. And you greet each and every one of us with grace and charm and joy. So I just want to wish you the Hebrew benediction of Mazel Tov, which means congratulations and much success in all of your endeavors. Dear Lord, God of our fathers, bless and protect Mayor Judith Flanagan Kennedy in all of her endeavors. Shine your countenance upon her and upon all of her advisors to do good for all the citizenry of our fair city of Lynn. May you bless and protect her from every trouble, woe, and injury, and bless her with the strength to carry out her many tasks with truth, uprightness, integrity, and always with that wonderful smile. Shine upon her your everlasting joy and peace. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Is that the colors, please? Let's move Jazz Band to the Complato.
Thank you, Lord God. Be seated. Give the Lord a joke tonight for a wonderful job you do with the kids in the school bands. Give it up for Joe. My reading glasses now, unfortunately. Uh, we have in the audience today uh, some former mayors, Mayor Thomas Boston.
Constitution and defend the Constitution of the United States. Of the United States. So help me God. <coughs> so help me God. Congratulations.
defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. Congratulations. Play this melody for us. Good evening. But first, I'd like to send, extend my best regards to the City Council, the School Committee, and the other dignitaries that have supported this department for so long. Before I introduce the students, I would just like to say a few words and obviously congratulate Mayor Kennedy on her re-election and to thank her wholeheartedly for the abundance of support that you have given this department and working with our superintendent, Dr. Catherine Lake. The four students that you see here are indicative of a model that the superintendent gave me a while ago and gave everyone else, give the kids a reason to come to school. These four students have never missed a band rehearsal. They may be absent on other days, but they, they have never missed a band rehearsal. I'd like to introduce you to them and tell you a little bit about what they've done, and then we're going to play. Briefly, these four students are very strong players. We have just had auditions for the Northeast District Music Festival. Last year and this year, we had Mr. Ed Sen. Ed, raise your hand, please. This year in Brandon will be competing at the ninth grade level. Uh, to go a little further, Mr. Sen, indicative of our curriculum and the support from both the superintendent and Mayor Kennedy, who strongly supports our program, received the highest um, status in the competitions. His, his rating was the highest of everyone. <laughs> Victor Nuago on alto saxophone. <laughs> and Selena Sen on tenor saxophone. <laughs> Undoubtedly would have made it had they chosen to compete, but pursued other areas of academics. So I had no doubt that we would have had four. So before we start, I've also uh, held this little announcement for the mayor. I've already uh, announced it to Dr. Layton. Uh, this just came in. Due to the partnerships that we have in our curriculum, because the superintendent and the mayor and the school committee have supported us so, tremendously, I can't tell you how much, we have just received an award, one of 10 communities in the state. With the partnership that we have with the Boston Symphony Orchestra, I just received word that they are going to give the community of Lynn a free or string quartet ensemble. The Boston Symphony Orchestra will be coming here, I believe, in March. The details will be in the paper. And they're going to make the door open and free to the public. And this is in line with the, with the superintendent and the mayor have asked us to do with community work. And of the 10 communities, only two schools were selected to have their students perform and open up on the same stage with the Boston Symphony Orchestra. And part of that is when we go to these conferences and we do all the stuff that we have to do, we have to prove certain things. And a comment that I will share with you, and I saved this Mayor Kennedy because Dr. Layton already knew about it, but I wanted to make it special for this evening, is it's one thing to have a school committee and a curriculum this and that, but to have a strong superintendent behind you is pretty rare in the fine arts department. The comment to me that was made at the Boston Symphony Orchestra was, and to have the mayor on top of that behind you, good for you guys. So actually, good for you, Mayor, good for you, Superintendent Latham. <laughs> the award that this department has received has been from the work from the top all the way down. I couldn't have done it with your support. I can't thank you enough for the abundance of support that both of you ladies gave us. So now without further ado, uh, the piece of music you're going to hear is a piece that I've allowed them to select begrudgingly because they did not agree that we should do it. I thought it was a little beyond our reach. They persisted. I acquiesced, and I think you're going to be very impressed with what you're going to hear. Thank you. 
Thank you for your support. Mayor Kennedy, congratulations. Thank you. I almost forgot because they left my notes. Mayor Kennedy was instrumental in the first mayor to do all the, all the paperwork to get the Lynn Public School there to appear two years ago, July 4th, in Washington, D.C., and represent the city of Lynn. After doing all the paperwork and getting us approved, I had to go to the superintendent. Well, obviously, we did more paperwork. The work was incredible, and our students were represented, and it was never done before. Thank you, Mayor Kennedy.
Good job, Kathy. I have a five-page speech, but the letters are this big. I'm going to take the, uh, some time before I introduce the mayor. I'd like to acknowledge uh, Councilman-elect Diane Chakouris. Official in the city of Lynn. Give it up to Diane. <laughs> and also, the folks here, I'm sure you have, you have your own candidates you want to uh, give it up. But yell their name out if you want and give it up to whoever you got. Okay. 